Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex from Part-Time First Sergeant. And in this video, we're gonna talk about your NGB Form 23. If you're watching this video as part of your retirement brief, make sure to remind your briefer to hook me up with a retirement point. Check this out. You're probably at a point in your career where you're starting to evaluate your retirement. And to do that, you really need to know where you stand with your retirement points. If you haven't been reviewing your retirement points throughout your career, looking at NGB Form 23 will be like opening up a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're gonna get. If you wanna learn how to earn retirement points, and how to accumulate 20 good years, check out my retirement video on one good year and 20 good years in the National Guard. In this video, I'll specifically be focusing on your NGB Form 23. You really need to understand your anniversary year end. That date generally doesn't change and it should coincide with your pantry base date. The only exception would be if you had a break in service or a change in service status. To earn one good year, you need to accumulate a minimum of 50 points within your retirement year. And a way to find your AYE will be on a header of your NGB Form 23 right here. Right below that, you'll see your basic active service date. This is only important if you are retiring with 20 years of active duty. Right below that, you'll see the notice of eligibility. This will indicate whether or not a report has been generated to notify you of a retirement eligibility. Going further down in the report, you'll see the beginning and end date, and that's the date range in which your points are being calculated for that row. Right next to that, you'll see your IDT. That will calculate all of your inactive duty points that you have earned during that date range. After that, you'll see your MEM, and that calculates all your membership points. You can earn up to 15 points per year, and the points are prorated. After that, you'll see your Army Correspondence Course Program and miscellaneous points are verified by your commander. Following that, you'll see the total career points that you have earned, and in that section, it will calculate all of the points that you have earned. But next to that, only show the total points that are credible for the retirement year, which means that you could have earned more points than are credible for that retirement year. Moving on down to NGB Form 23, if you notice a line break similar to this one illustrated here, you either didn't earn the minimum 50 points for a credible year, or you might have had a change of status as indicated here. In that case, all of your points will be calculated on the second line, and your credible year of service will be calculated on the line below that. Moving along the other columns, you'll notice that you have your military membership status identifier and they have different codes that you can find right at the bottom of your NGB Form 23. Next to that will be all the points that you have earned on inactive duty for training. And once again, if you're not familiar with how many points you can use towards a credible year, make sure you check out my other retirement videos. Next to that, you'll see your membership points. And as I mentioned, you can earn a maximum of 15 points per year, and those points are prorated, as you can see on the last row. Army correspondence scores and miscellaneous points as verified by your commander. Next to that will be funeral honor duties, which does not count towards your maximum for your inactive duty for training. Next to that, you'll see your active duty points. Under the verification status, if it shows a victor, you're good to go. That means that there's a document in there verifying the points that you have earned within that retirement year. If it shows a Bravo, it means that there isn't sufficient documentation verifying the points that you have earned within that retirement year. And in that case, further down, I'll show you what documents you can use to verify your points. This column shows all the points that you have earned within that retirement year. Column after that will show only the points that are credible towards your retirement pay or retirement points. And you'll notice that in this case, this soldier has maxed out the 365 points that are credible towards retirement pay, which means that he loses about 15 points because he earned more than what the maximum allows. The truly important part of this NGB 423 are these two sections here, which include your total points credible for retirement and the number of credible years of service that you have successfully completed. Now, if you're like me and you're missing retirement points on your NGB Form 23, there's several documents that you can use to prove your service or your retirement points throughout your career. The most obvious one will be your LES. So if you're missing points from recent service, you can pull out your LES and send it over through your admin NCO. If you're missing points for service earlier in your career, you need to secure copies of your master military pay account. And I'll put a link in the descriptions on how to secure a copy. Beyond that, you can use your 1379, your 1059 from service schools, retirement point documents from any other service, your DD-214, or your DD-215 with the original copy of your DD-214. Documents that are not valid to verify your credible service include orders, W-2s, bank statements, and NGB Forms 22. 
to recover lost points, you can go through USPFO, DFAS, or HRC. However, if you're still an active member of the National Guard, get a copy of your Master Military Pay account, which will show all of the pay periods throughout your entire career, and then submit that document through your admin and CO, who should be able to take care of that for you through your state. Hope this video helped you demystify your NGB Form 23, and good luck in your pursuit for a good retirement. Whoa, 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 hang in there. Before you leave, make sure you check me out on social at Part Time First Sergeant with a hashtag Drill Weekend. And also, don't forget to check out my other videos over here. Check, just pick one of these. It's pretty cool. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I was, I, was, I was in it. I mean, spoiler alert, I teach you something. <laughs>